Hello guys, Animatronics here, and today we are playing a game called Shadow War. I found this game on Game Jolt. I've been, you know, looking for brand new things to play, and there's not too much uh, of a description uh, at all, actually. So, we're just going to jump right in. Um, yeah. Alright, good. Listen, we're almost ready to go. Just get your stuff. When you're ready, outside our helicopter should be there. Okay, so that, that was pretty good voice acting. Um, looks like we're just thrown into it. There's not a lot of other, you know, things to do. Then just go out. Now, this game isn't. This game looks like it's polished right now. Okay, you can sprint. That's good. Do we have a sprint meter? You can sprint infinitely. Okay. It's, uh, that was lucky that I. Is it seriously going to be this type of uh, game where there's loading screens every eight and a half seconds? So I can't run this way. Um, I'm hitting invisible walls. Okay, let's head toward the crane since that's the that's a pretty big area. So yeah, you can't. There's like invisible walls to the left and the right, which is interesting. Anyway, let's let's continue. So we're having a bit in a the fight there. Is that supposed to be tear gas or something? Oh my god. Oh thank god. Thank god. I never knew we had a gun or radio. So uh Actually wait, wait, wait. Just listen to this ambiance for a second. That ambiance, okay, that ambiance actually strike a, a personal favorite with me. Whoa, that's a mine. Okay, I failed. That is a mine. I pretty much knew that. Okay. Wait, are we serious right now? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. We have to start all the way from the beginning. Listen. God. Just get your stuff. When you're ready, outside our helicopter should be there. <clears throat> okay, so we're back. As I was going to say, that ambiance stuck, uh, struck a chord in me. Now, what's a mine? So apparently, if you die, there is no checkpoint. Can we open? Nah, I don't want to risk it. And uh, I'm going to have a limit. If I die more than two times, just by stupid reasons, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, the ambiance is good so far. The audio engineering is pretty good, more or less. Um, voice acting could use a little work, but hey, what am I to expect? Um, however, the biggest thing that gets me right now is the fact that there are no checkpoints. And that, I can't deal with. Won't deal with. So, let's try not to make any mistakes like that again. What, is there going to be something in front of the door? That's a dead body that appears to be, like, perfectly safe. Ish. You recognize the body. It was your friend Nate. He has a radio on him. You take it. Alright, Nady boy. Thank you for donating 
your body to science. You'll help me live on, I guess. Is that a s ambient spotlight in the middle of the room? Yes, actually. Okay, so we're gonna try and... Huh, where are we supposed to be going? Map does nothing. So, what is that? Crouch is a little wonky. Well, I'm not gonna do anything with that until... Well, this is an endless labyrinth. I might not be able to find that again. So it's anyone want this thing. That's an interesting response. It's like a statue of something with a gas mask on. What's this? I have no idea what's going on in there, but it would appear that we need a gun to handle that. So we have the radio. Apparently we now need a gun. The ambience is not bad, actually. Hello? Is anyone there? Um, yeah? Oh, thank God. Uh, listen, where are you? I just- I'm in a room with a car crashed into the wall. Alright, I'm on my way. What? Good thing he's alive. Not for long. Oh wait, that's something in the corner there, so I'm going to assume it's going to give chase unto us if we engage it. I love to find that gun, actually. Oh my goodness. So as you can probably clearly see, there's several things frustratingly wrong with this uh, gameplay setup. But, I got hung up on, what is that? Every time you go through that, every time you go through that corridor, it like picks you up and twists you a little. Okay, so we fell down the hole. Ooh, look at that, a gun. No, a flashlight. Uh, is my screen going to clear up? Press... Okay, tab to switch equipment. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't able to see, uh, you know, anything about how to use uh, the flashlight. It's not even F to toggle it. It's not even right or left mouse button. So we're, we're going to just continue on. I don't know what we're doing right now at all. So there's that. How bad of an enemy are you? Well, I'm just going to avoid you because it would seem that I am on the verge of death. Can we say... Oh my god. If you press escape... Okay, no. You see, I'm done. I'm not playing this. This is unplayable. Um, okay, so uh, that that's essentially Shadow War, gentlemen. Um, okay, so <laughs> while it wasn't really a bad game it just had a couple things wrong with it that made it unplayable sort of like buying a car without any tires um the auto engineering was all right the gameplay was mediocre there wasn't um hud updates as to what you were supposed to do uh, the second thing is that, well, obviously, there was no save feature. There's no save feature. There's no menu feature. There's no... So, unfortunately, I'm just not willing to go through a game, die, and then play. have to play through the whole thing again in order to, uh, you know, make it somewhere. So, um, yeah, I mean... For an alpha, it's it's all right for an alpha, but uh, 
uh I'll, I'll definitely keep tabs on it as it did have quite a few things going right for it, i.e. the audio, the ambiance, the general sounds, um, but also a lot of things wrong with it. So I'm going to be uh, keeping uh, tabs on it. The link for this game, if you want to try to play it for yourself, will be in the description. So, well, this is Animatronics Digital, and I will see you in the next video.